So if we just go down to my consulting room. And it was great to be here at uh, Free Medical Practice today. The NHS was the first health system in the world to make a commitment to uh, be uh, net zero carbon by 20, 2040. And there's some amazing work going on here in, in Froome. And I'm with um, Dr. Helen Kingston. Um, and we're going to learn a little bit more about what's going on uh, in, in Froome and here at the medical practice. So Helen, I, d I just wondered, first of all, why, why is this so important to you? Why, why should there be a focus on linking health and climate change? I think the climate emergency is the biggest um, health risk that we all face um, for our individual health as well as for the planet. Um, so absolutely it needs to be the focus um, for all of us now um, to preserve the health of the planet and our future population. Um, we're part of our community here in Froome. Um, each one of us it really makes a difference if we can all take the steps that we can um, to move towards a more sustainable future. Definitely, and I, you know, I think there's some amazing statistics about the impact that climate change is having on health, and you know, for no other reason, I think that's a really important reason that we get behind that as, a, as, a, as an agenda. But I just wonder whether you could say a little bit about what specifically you're doing here at Through Medical Practice. We're trying to choose wisely the medication that we offer patients to make sure that we're choosing the best option for them and the one that's best for the planet working with our patients to make sure that they maintain healthy lifestyles and are supported to do that because we know that if you're able to be more active, maintain a healthy diet, eat plant-based foods, not develop obesity, manage um, your mental health and well-being and actually you're going to feel better, it's going to have a positive impact on your health in the future is going to have a positive impact on the planet because the very same things that make us feel better are the things that are going to protect us. And we need to move away from that consumerist society and really focus on valuing well-being rather than valuing um, monetary gain. Definitely. And I think I mean, one of the things I heard in a uh, presentation that we had this morning was about, you know, this is a sum of as much as anything, it's about some of the small things. Yeah. And that was a, a, a kind of real point that resonated for yeah. me. So I think whilst we are, as a, as a, as a Somerset health and care system, creating our, um, our, our plan, there are, some, there are some big things that we can do, but there are also, you know, it's also about how to engage the population, how we do we engage practices, how do we engage individual organisations in playing their yeah. part and doing the sort of things that we're doing here in, in Froome. And it has to be a population approach, it has to be collaboration across all of us um, and incrementally each of us will make a difference so it's building that movement, um, that will and changing what society normally does so that we move towards a sustainable future. So a movement for change and we can all play our part even if yeah. we feel that part is a, is a small thing. Yeah. And so things like the GQ website, um, Take the Jump, which is an initiative to encourage everyone to get started and make small steps towards a more sustainable future. The more people that we can engage in understanding the dual benefits to health and to the planet um, by moving forwards, that's, that's what we're trying to achieve. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. That's been really helpful and you know, keep up the good work. And I think we, we, we've got a lot of learning and a lot of sharing to do here across the system. And really encouraging to hear that the board is going to embed um, you know, a climate impact assessment on the things that we're doing moving forwards and making sure that that's embedded across the board um, rather than siloed. So Absolutely. that's really important and a really great decision that you've made there. Thank you very much. Thank you.